that Isabel Oakeshott, Talk's international editor. Uh, let's get the opinion of Talk international editor Isabel Oakeshott on this. Isabel, thank you so much for joining us. Let's talk to Isabel Oakeshott now. She's Talk's international editor. Uh, Isabel, what do you make of this budget and what Nigel Farage was saying there? I mean, what the hell are they doing? I, honestly, these people are so stupid, aren't they? What yeah. I, I... It might not be stupid, but what's incredible, even laughable, is that that was just from one day's worth of talk TV. The horrible right-wing mouthpiece Isabel Oakeshott appeared on four different shows to give her expert opinion. And she appears nearly every day. Here on a different day is Oakshot delivering one of her most vile diatribes. Can you think of anyone that this budget is actually for? Unless, uh, apart from public sector workers and the NHS, which she's raising money to chuck at. You know, as I said yesterday, throwing £22 billion at the NHS, you might as well actually build it into a bonfire and set fire to it for all the effect it will have. But apart Apart from the NHS and public sector workers, I don't think anyone at all benefits from this budget. Well, I'll tell you who benefits from this budget, the people who do the least. So basically benefits claimants, because what this budget should have done is incorporated a massive campaign to reduce the welfare bill. So she's ramping it up and the picture she paints is of people who work and people who skive. If for some reason you're unable to work, in Isabel's eyes, you're a skiver. I mean, the welfare bill is out of all control. It is ludicrous how many young people are supposedly too sick to work and being supported by the state. Uh, you know, these figures are absolutely off the chart and they are completely unjustified and by not announcing such a crackdown Rachel Weaves basically turned this into a budget of removing resources from those who work in order to keep on sustaining those who frankly can't be bothered here she goes to get out of bed mm. and get themselves out whether it's to an office or to a you know any kind of job and prefer to just sit on the sofa and order their delivery and drive their motability free vehicle and take everything that the state can offer. And the state, well, that is uh, people like you and me and our very many listeners who are grafting just to try to make ends meet. And, and basically, these people are frankly parasites. Click here for Isabel on Hate TV.